talk a little bit about making money. You and I both know that you can turn on the profit sort of whenever you want. You can push a little here, you can pull a little there. What would tell you that it's time? I think that we believe we have a tremendous amount of investment we want to do in service to the kinds of strategies that we already know are working well for us. The Twitter and TV work that we've been doing where Twitter has increasingly become the second screen for the live experience, the second screen to what people are watching right now, uh, continuing to invest in that, making sure we've got the right teams on the ground internationally to invest in you know, unique regional content and driving that unique regional content internationally into the platform to make sure that we are the public, real-time, conversational, distributed platform. And so we will is really important because absolutely. most of your users are international. Yes, so well over 70% of our users are outside the United States, and we'll continue to invest in that user base. Now, you do spend a lot on R&D, and a lot of that is talent. It was expensive to recruit pre-IPO. How does it not get more expensive post-IPO? How do you handle that? It's competitive out there. Well, I think that you know, one of the things I try to talk to the company about is setting a very broad direction, a specific direction, but with some broad room for them to, within which they can innovate. Because it's very important to me that the innovations, the specific ideas and products that are developed within the broad direction are built from the ground up and innovated from the over a thousand product and engineering and design folks we have inside the company. And I think when you have the opportunity to, within your team, build an innovation that you conceived of and take it to the senior management team and you have the authority and the accountability to deliver against that thing you conceived of yourself, that's tremendously motivating and, a, and just an incredibly uh, motivating work environment and I want to continue to foster that kind of work environment. Now